Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Credential, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch setting up a static IP versus what it's defaultly set it on, a dynamic IP. Now, the difference between a static and dynamic, static will remain the same. Dynamic means it will always change. Now, for example, every time that I turn on my Nintendo Switch and it's on a static IP, the IP address will remain the same versus every time with a dynamic setup Nintendo Switch that I turn it on, it will sometimes may change. Usually it'll stay the same, but sometimes it'll may change, but we want to permanently have that IP address set up. So this will work locally internally on your network, not anything outside of your network. So for example, if you go to ipchicken.com and you look at your IP address there, that's your external IP. And if you want to change that, then I'll have links in the description. So setting up um, whatever your modem slash routers network settings has assigned you with, we're gonna be changing that. So how to get towards these settings right here is go towards um, your dashboard, then go to the system settings, then go down to internet, then internet settings is where we're gonna be changing things towards too. So a couple things you wanna take note, but before we, begin, before we continue, if you guys can do me one big solid favor is to see that big red button that says subscribe, Go ahead and click that and hit post notifications. Every time that I uh, upload a video or a live stream, feel free to come through, be informed when I do live stream, come through, uh, watch me game. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. That's what I'm here for. Uh, also hit the like button and share it on all of your social media. Alrighty, so this will work on a wired and or wireless connection uh, if you actually purchase the additional adapter for the for the LAN cable. So either or, the, um, it will work all the same. So the things that you need to worry about is where it says IP address, that will be changed. All the, I mean, even though the numbers may be different, let me talk about it here in a second. So you, what you want to write down is the subnet mask and the gateway, that's important to you. So even though the gateway numbers may be different because mine's is 10.0.0.1, yours might say 192.168.0.1, something of that matter. Speaking of numbers, if we move over towards the desktop here. Okay, so notice how mine says 10, it begins with 10, yours might say 192. What you need to uh, is copy those three sections. So after this section right here, the dot, this section right here, dot, then this section right here, then you're gonna be copying those numbers. And we're gonna be, that won't be changing. The last digit we will be changing. It can be anywhere between two and 255. Some routers are gonna force you to do anywhere between three and 254. So that's your safe bet right there. Now, if we go ahead and move over towards our Nintendo Switch, and let's go towards the IP settings here. Let's go ahead and change that. So it's scanning for network. Um, just give it a second. Okay, right here is my Wi-Fi name. That's the name of my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I want to change the settings. And I want to go down where it says, how do I change the settings? Oh, it's automatic. So, um, duh. So IP address settings, we're gonna change that and we're gonna put it to manual. Then we're gonna go to IP address here. So remember how I said the first three is whatever yours is, keep that how it is, then we're gonna change the last. So it's gonna be 10, uh, we're gonna have to backspace out of all this. So 10.0.0. So remember the first three sections of the numbers are yours put that down but the very last is where you're going to change it and you can do it anywhere between 2 and 255 so i'm going to change it to 112 and i'm going to go ahead and hit okay the benefits of changing these numbers into a static ip address um which i should have mentioned at the very beginning the reason why it's beneficial is if there's another device on the network has the same IP address, it could cause conflict. Uh, you may have port forward your things. Um, so we always want the IP address to remain the same permanently. Uh, UNP, UPnP conflict of, it's just, there's so much things that benefits from 
changing your IP to a static IP. And now for the subnet mask, 255.255.255. Uh, let's go ahead and back that back, back that out. 255.255.255.0, then hit OK. Then your gateway, which we'll go ahead and back all of that out. Then whatever your gateway was, Oops. Then go ahead and hit OK, then hit Save. Um, if you're not able to connect to the network, then put the settings back towards automatic. Then you'll be fine. Everything will be back how it normally was if you have problems. So that's how you set up a dynamic or excuse me, a static IP address. Uh, we're connected to the Wi-Fi. Everything looks good. Oops. Everything looks good. OK. Yep. We're all set up. So yeah, uh, ch test it out. And if it works for you on multi uh, on a uh, multiplayer, awesome. Then you set up everything correctly. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will see you soon. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.